it's taking me off the <laughs> question I want to ask you because now you bring up this thought of okay, your values. What do you value? And the things that you value, but I'm wondering as you're saying that, how many of us have values that we know? Values yeah, that we you're create. absolutely right. Yeah. I think a lot of us will cash in our values for the money. I yeah. won't say us, because I don't think I'm in, you and I are in that, and people I, are in that I know, we don't cash it in for our money. I don't know, though. No, you're right. You're right. That's, I think it's so important for people to understand that. What What is so unshakable in your life? Is it faith? Is it family? Is it character? Is it humility? I mean, there's a million. Is it trust? I think back on, on the books I've read and the podcasts I've seen on Coach K, who talks about we value trust, even with LeBron James and Kobe Bryant and Magic Johnson and those people. We, You know what? I'm going to look you in the eye and we're going to be honest with each other. And I remember I was doing a master class that Coach K did, and he talked about a story that, that happened when he was coaching the NBA players and they were going, they, they were the Olympic team. And he said, we were getting ready to leave. I don't remember what, which one, which Olympics it was from. He said, but we were getting ready to leave to go over to the Olympics. And we'd finished a basketball game, an exhibition game. And Kobe Bryant had taken all kinds of terrible shots. And LeBron came to Coach K afterwards and he's, yeah, that, that's not going to cut it. He's taking terrible shots. And Coach K said, right before the bus was going to leave the next day, he said, I pulled Kobe into the office and I said, hey, those shots you took yesterday, no, they're not, they're not good shots. They're not t- shots that our team wants to take. I don't want you taking those shots. He said, mm-hmm. Kobe looked at me and he said, is that it? And Coach K said, yeah, that's it. And Kobe said, you're absolutely right. Those were terrible shots. I will never take them again. Thanks for letting me go or thanks for telling me. Now let's get on the bus and go play basketball in the Olympics. So it's being honest with an unbelievably great player, Kobe Bryant, unbelievably great player. But it's a coach saying, you know what? I respect you enough and I have a value that honesty is that important to me that I'm willing to look you in the eye and say, you know what? I don't care how great you are. Those were bad shots and you shouldn't take those. And the other flip side of that is that Kobe Bryant was available for the feedback. Absolutely. Yes. He was coachable as you and I. As you, yeah. 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 He was coachable. He's coachable. He's willing to take feedback from other people and say, Hey, I don't know everything. I'm not always right, but give me some feedback. I'll digest that. I'll think about that. And in that instance with coach K, it was absolutely right out of the gate. You're right, coach. I was wrong. I should not have taken those shots. I will not take them again. That's being coachable. Yeah. Cause you know what, as you were telling the story, I could almost see, my viewpoint of Kobe Bryant is not the, I don't know. I don't know, but I can almost say I'm being a superstar. I say, oh, I'll take him because I'll make him eventually. Yeah. And, but he said, okay, if it's hurting the team. So there's also being honest, but being trusting each other in the team play. And I think that happens a lot in team sports. You got to trust the band right next to you or trust the woman right next to you. You got to trust them. And you do. You, but you that trust is earned, right? as you and I know, that that's, Trust is earned. It's not yeah. a right. You have to show me that you deserve to be here. You, what's your work ethic? What's your, and on teams like, I'm sure the Lakers and on Duke and things like that, high performing teams, it's not the coach that relays that message. It's the upperclassmen. It's the seasoned veterans on the team. Mm. It's like, this is the way we do things as a Laker. This is the way we do things as a Duke Blue Devil. This, this is the way things are done. And that is shown by the upperclassmen. And now you're going to show me whether you understand that. Yeah. And if you do that, then you've earned my trust. And if you've earned my trust, then I feel comfortable. I was use, I use the, who do you want in a foxhole with you when the shooting starts? Is it somebody you can trust? Is it somebody you know who's going to have your back? Is it somebody you know who's not going to cut and run when things get difficult, that they're going to be there with you? That's trust. That's respect. That's humility. That's character. All those kind of rolled into one. And those are the kind of people that I want with me. And I think you and I, we're old enough that we understand that, for example, if I didn't know you, but I knew the five people that you hung around with the most, yeah, I could tell you a lot about you. What kind of person you were? What's your character like? What do you value? What do you see success as? But I don't know you at all, but I know the people you hang around with. And I always tell people, especially younger people, 
surround yourself with people that care about you, that love you, that support you, that wants that want the best for you, that are smarter than you, because those people will make you better as opposed to the people that, you know, you're hanging around with people that always have drama, that always make life about them. Those people you want to try to distance yourself from 